Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 4 of our Raspberry Pi video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about basic CLI operation with Raspberry Pi. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so let's do some of the basic CLI operation to work with our Raspberry Pi. So what is this CLI, which is nothing but our command line interface operations to work with Raspberry Pi? Right? So we are going to use some of the basic command line interface to make sure that we work with Raspberry Pi without any problem since we are going to work with Raspberry Pi to deploy our WordPress website. We're going to make sure that we also know some of the basic commands of Linux. So let's quickly see what are the basic commands that we're going to work with this video and we are going to work some of the advanced command in next video as well. All right. So the first command that we're going to work with the Linux is going to be this browsing the directories, which is more very, very easy and most commonly used command, which is nothing but ls. So it's going to list the directories and ls hyphen a will show the hidden files. So we're going to work with that and then identifying IP address that you can do using IP a. So this command will identify the IP address of your Linux. And you can identify who is logged into your Raspberry Pi using the who command. And then you can print the working directory using pwd. And you can also log in as a su or otherwise called as substitute user using this su hyphen or it's otherwise called as super user. So you can do from here. Similarly, you can clear the terminal, which is the most often used command, which is clear or you can use control L in your SSH terminal which is nothing but your putty terminal and then if you're gonna see the history of command that you have typed so far you can use this history command and there are various other command while working with history and also running the last command using this exclamation V command so there are different kinds of history commands so we'll quickly see all of these commands in a greater detail while we start working with it so let's do this in action then so for that, I'm going to flip to our PuTTY terminal. So I have already logged in to the Raspberry Pi and you can see that this is my emulator window, which is nothing but my PuTTY window. So what I'm going to do, I can just do ls to see the list of directories available. And also you can see each and every files within this desktop or the directories in the documents like CD, something like this. And then you can just do ls and you can see there is no files actually. So all these folders will be empty for now because I have not created any the stuff within this particular directory. So you can also create some of the files using mkdir to create the directory. So I'm just going to create a directory using mkdir and within this desktop I'm going to create something like automation. Hit enter and now if I see ls you can see within this desktop I have a directory called automation and you can see this directory is in blue color so if you create a file then it will be in a white color so I can just show you how it looks like I'm just going to use the nano editor nano and then I can just type the name of the file uh, let's say I want to type test.txt hit enter so this will bring you a nano editor. So this nano editor is actually available in Linux. It's more like a notepad in our Windows environment. So I'm just going to type something. So let's say this is just a test text file. Control X to exit and then it will tell you whether do you want to save these files. So you can just do Y and enter which means the file has been saved. So now you can see the content of the file using this nano test.txt. You can see that the file has the content that we just typed, right? So you can also modify this. This is modified file. And then once again, you can just do control X, Y. That way it just saves all the values in there, right? So this is one of the way that you can create a file. And now if I just do ls, you can see that it has created a file test.txt and it is in a white color right now. And this automation is a directory and it's in blue color, right? So you can also create some hidden files prefixing a dot on the file name or the directory name. Let's say if I want to create a hidden file, so you can just do like this, mk 
dir hidden folder hit enter so this will create a folder for you now if i just do ls you can see that the folder will not be appearing but if i just do iphone a then it can show you the hidden folder right so these are the different kinds of command basically you can just learn all these hidden commands using man ls there we go so it will show you all the different kinds of uh, options that you can you use within your ls command right so these are some of the basic operation that i will show you but i am not going to go through all these command line interface in much detail because there are separate sessions available exclusively not in execute automation but you can youtube it and google it to learn more about it right so this is one of the command i'm just going to hit q to come out of this uh, particular uh, man or manual and then to clear this screen i can just use control l you can see that everything has been clear or you can also type clear if you want it will clear all the uh, commands that you typed in your screen and now the final thing which i'm going to show you is the history command so if i just type history and hit enter you can see the list of commands that i typed so these are the commands that i typed while working with this particular user which is nothing but the kk user so these commands will be actually saved for this user every time you log in to this terminal now if i want to just execute the last command which i executed you can use dollar or sorry exclamation dollar and hit enter you can see it will run the history command automatically or let's say if i want to uh, run the make directory command with the hidden folder thing so I can just do something like this exclamation question mark and then I can just say mkdir and hit enter you can see that it will run the hidden folder command and it will also say that the hidden folder cannot be created because the file already exists so it will automatically run the last command of this particular condition so there are various different things that you can do with the history command as well but while working with this raspberry pi we will be using this history command alone a lot and if you want to clear all these histories then there is a option called history hyphen c this will clear all the histories that you have uh, that you have created so far if i just run this command and now if i run the history once again you can see that there will be nothing other than the history that we just executed so this is how you can work with the history command in Linux. And if you want to see the current working directory or path of the working directory, you can just type pwd. This will show you the path of the working directory. It is actually slash home slash kk slash desktop. Right. So this is the command for the current working directory. It is again helpful while working with Raspberry Pi. And if you want to see who has logged in, you can just type who and hit enter. It will show you who has logged into this terminal. So let's say if I want to uh, log into another terminal. So there is a new session I'm just opening and I'm just going to type the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. And now if I just log in and now if I run this command who you can see that this time it is actually showing me two options. The one is for this terminal which I'm running here. And there is one more terminal that's why it is showing as one right if you log in as a different user then you will have a different user uh, let's say it is uh, kr then the user will be kr and there will be a different uh, number here and it also show you what time it has logged in and what is the ip address to access this particular uh, terminal right so these are the different options that you will see while you use this who command right so we may be using this command as well while working with raspberry pi in this particular video series so these are some of the basic command guys in the next video we'll also talk some of the other basic command line interface of linux in much detailed way so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day